find me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else Hi loves! Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, my name is Whitney and this is my channel House and Heart. Today I've got a number of things on my to-dos. So I'm honored that you guys are gonna join me. I'm gonna be doing kind of a complete makeover of my dresser that I have upstairs. I've had it for years. I'm just gonna kind of uh, spruce it up a little. And then I have some errands to run. I have to go to Menards to get the paint and some of the supplies that I'm gonna need. Um, my little hardware is coming today from Amazon, so that should be here. Um, and then I will show you some footage from yesterday. So yesterday I did do kind of a, I kind of sanded down our floating shelves in our kitchen. So they used to be like a darker color and I'm really into like the raw wood color of the wood. So I think this is more like a pine, like lighter tone wood color. So I'm excited about that. Um, so that turned out really well and Nate and I both really like it. Um, but yeah, so also, we got a new coffee table and it is really cute. So I ran into one little get glitch yesterday because one of the screws was not going in. So I had to like kind of drill a completely new hole in the piece, but I don't think you'd ever realize that when looking at it. But I'm honored that you guys are gonna join me today. So let's get started. Ooh, look who's here. Look who's here. How are you? It's yeah. great to see you today. I know, babe, they loved you from last week. Babe, I love you more though. I love you most. All right, so I'm just getting my day started by drinking my coffee. I like to light some candles to just kind of set the mood to make me feel a little bit more relaxed. Um, and then I'm doing some devotions on the couch just to kind of set my mind and heart in the right spot for the day. And I just try to be very intentional with that. I also wanted to share with you guys what I have been having for breakfast recently. And I have these gluten-free oats that I put in this cute little glass jar that I found at Home Goods, And I just love the design on that so so I've been mixing oatmeal blueberries and then this primal kitchen collagen blend and it is so nice and creamy I would highly recommend This is the coffee table that Nate and I purchased from Amazon. I will go ahead and link that in the description box below. But we really were looking for a little bit of a lighter wood color in our living room for our coffee table. And I really do appreciate the colors of this coffee table. And it all together was pretty easy to put together. It was a little time consuming and I did have an issue with one of the screws. But other than that, it was pretty flawless and I really think it looks really cute. Um, Nate and I have really enjoyed having our coffee table back. I know that we kind of missed it because we often put our coffee or books or you know things like that on our coffee table. So it's nice to have that back finally. So my lovely husband helped me kind of do some of the maneuvering of the furniture in our bedroom. So we had to take my big dresser out of the closet and guys this dresser really is like a mammoth of a dresser it is very wide we had to take the closet doors off just to be able to get it through i just wanted to show you the condition of the dressers and like indents and also like discoloration in the woods so i'm really looking forward to kind of giving this piece new life Also got back from Menards and I got this Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint that's gonna go 
um, on the top coat. And then this is the primer that I'm gonna be using. I definitely learned my lesson from painting the bookshelf in our office without it. And so I definitely picked up primer this time. But I'm just gonna start by taping off the insides of the drawers, like taping off this little groove here. So it's a distinct line. Um, and then I'll be painting these downstairs and then this piece up here. Look at what my babe is doing. <laughs> what you doing, babe? You're getting the carpet up. Yeah, you are. Yeah, we're this is... Flooring now. Yep. What does our new flooring look like? Right there. Right here. Isn't she pretty? She's gonna look so nice. Our contractor's coming tonight, which is gonna be really good. He already got this piece in. And then I'll show you what inside of here looks like. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have new flooring. Good job, babe. Look at you go. You've been working out. Yeah. Be careful for nails. Orange Street Fitness. That's right. The first step in making over this dresser was just to remove all of the drawers and I did have liner in it as well. So I did remove the liner and then I was just gonna bring these downstairs to my patio area and I might as well just water my plants and some out there anyway. It has been really warm here in the Midwest recently. So I have been making sure that my plants are getting a good amount of water. And then I'm just going to be setting my drawers out here because this is where I'm going to be taping and painting and all the things. It's so cute. My little neighbor boy came over. He was interested in what I was doing. So I will have a little visitor here in a second. And he was just really curious on what I was doing with these drawers. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand. Could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes. You and me. Yeah, that's all I need. And I'll be all right. I'll be right here. I swear. Next, I'm just going to be taking this primer and going to be priming these drawers. So if you haven't seen my office makeover video, I, I will go ahead and link that. However, I did not use primer on my office bookcase and I really regretted that. So I was really sure that I wanted to go ahead and prime these drawers just because I am going from a dark color to a light color um, and I want to make sure that it has really good coverage. So right here, I'm just gonna be putting down my painter's taper. That's just gonna make sure that my carpet is protected in case I do happen to spill this primer paint. So the tools that I'm using for painting the main piece for my dresser is just my roller brush and then also my paintbrush. And I use my paintbrush more in like the grooves or like the non-flat areas. Um, and then the roller brush really works well on like the flat spaces and it really had good coverage.
Alrighty, so I just got done with my second coat on my dresser. I'm still gonna do like one more up here, but I have to wait for it to dry. Um, but I'm gonna head downstairs and go ahead and get the drawers ready so that with the actual paint, which is that stuff, just so that I can see what it will look like. I think it looks really good so far. I am liking the lighter color. I think it's really gonna complement our room and just make the room feel a little bit more spacious. All right, so these drawers have been drying for probably about two hours now, so they are very dry. I'm going to take our actual color, which is this. I'm gonna take our color chalked linen white, and I'm gonna be going over it, so I'm so excited to see what this looks like and to show you guys. LOL, my air conditioning just went off, so sorry if you can hear that, but ooh. Oh, she's pretty. I love it because it looks like a very chalked, like thicker paint, and so I think it's gonna look really nice on the furniture. So this is the final coat um, that I'm gonna be doing. It doesn't really look different on camera, but I was seeing a big difference in person um, just because it is a little bit thicker than the primer and then I was using a different roller. So this roller actually gave it a little bit more texture on the flat surfaces. And so I would really recommend this paint. I really liked it. It covered really well and I only needed about one coat of the Rust-Oleum chalked paint. So at this point I had finished my drawers and was letting them dry outside and so I moved inside to finish my dresser piece. And so, like I said before, this chalk paint by Rust-Oleum really covered very well. It is a thicker kind of paint and I really only needed one can of it to do my entire dresser so just keep that in mind. I was left with about one third of the can there and so yeah just kind of for reference if you have a piece at your house that you want to finish um, that's about how much paint I needed after I primed it. So I wanted to show you guys the knobs that I had picked out for this. Sorry, our contractor's here, so if you hear noises, that's just them working on our bathroom. But I love this color. It's like an antique brass color. It's a hexagon, and it's going to be like so cute. So I'm gonna take off the painter's tape and then put these little beauties on. All right, and guys, I am so pleased in how this turned out. This was above and beyond what I was expecting it to look like, and I am in love with this piece. So now is the time that I really enjoy. It is just decorating the piece, and so I'm just gonna be setting some of our special and meaningful items here, such as an engagement picture from Nate and I's engagement season. I'm gonna be adding a little candle here and some floral pieces, and I just think it looks extremely cozy and practical. I really like the total different vibe that it gives in this room. It just really matches the whole aesthetic of the room and the feel that I was going for. And so I would highly recommend that if you guys have an old piece of furniture that you don't know what to do with and you aren't a huge fan of the color but it has really good bones and a really good structure, 
I'd recommend that you get some new hardware and paint that piece and, and just be inspired by the potential of the piece. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much. If you like this video, it would mean so much if you would like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep your house and heart decluttered and clean. Love you guys.